Are you looking for the best and easy to use tool that will help you create self-service knowledge base for your customers and employees? Document360 is the tool for you. With this tool, you're able to create product documentations with ease. You can edit your product documentation in real time with their easy to use editor. They also have an HTML editor on top of their Markdown editor. You can cater to your worldwide customers with their wide variety language support as well as translate your product documentations with their AI machine translation tool. Document360 also offers integrations with other popular apps which makes it a really powerful all-in-one platform for product documentation. Their platform also allows you to track all the analytics that are connected to your documents, that way you can collect your users' feedback on the go. If you want to check out Document360, click the first link in the description. Hello everyone, welcome to another Notion tutorial video. Now in this tutorial video, I will show you how to sync Notion with Apple Calendar. Now, if you want to sync this in a correct way, what you will need to do is you will need to use this, uh, you know, this integration right here. So let's click on this integration. Uh, basically, it's called calendar.notion.cafe and slash calendars. You can log in here. As you can see, I already logged in with my Notion account. So just log in. It's completely safe. And what you can do is you can basically go and add a new calendar right here. Now, once you add a new calendar, this is basically the screen uh, or how your screen is going to look like right here, as you can see. You will need to create a calendar name. So let's just create calendar one and we'll need to add a database. So our database right here is called editorial calendar. So we can click on that. And right here we can have location property. Uh, you know, what is the property of location? So as you can see, uh, you can click here if you want to know more about that. Uh, but basically, you know, where our tags or location property is, we can just click audience right here, or we can click type of content. And uh, then as you can see, we can add additional filters as well as the refresh rate uh, as well. But once we're done, we can click submit here. We can copy this to our clipboard. And now what we can do with this link is we can go to our iOS Apple calendar. I don't have a calendar right here, so I cannot show you. But what you need to do is you need to go to your Apple calendar and go to file and then new calendar subscription and then paste this link there. This will automatically sync both of your calendars. So it will sync Notion calendar as well as uh, your Apple calendar. So your Notion will be completely synced with Apple calendar and iOS calendar. So this is basically how in a nutshell, you can go and sync Notion with Apple calendar. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video.